All right, so Tom, tell me, uh, you know, a few memories that you have of Master Sexton. Okay, what do you what do you remember? What stories, lessons, anything that stuck to your mind? Uh, it, it's a dichotomy of things with him. It's such a gentle exterior, soft spoken man, right? Good looking man, soft spoken, uh, excellent martial artist. His techniques were excellent. His kicks, his focus, and his focus of power, wonderful. His attitude toward fighting, completely opposite of that. He was he was a, the shark. I mean, if and it's the one thing I remember him telling me that uh, in a, in a poor situation, uh, you could tell when it's falling apart and blows are going to be thrown or whatever. And he said, you know when it's going to happen. You just, you know. That, that last moment before the fight starts, he says, you hit first. And, and he was a very dangerous man, physically dangerous. If, if you were to uh, try to do anything to him or, or someone he liked or loved or whatever, uh, it would not be a good thing. Uh, I had the feeling, because he, he trained, he did, did all the weight training, that, and he worked as a bouncer. And I had the feeling there was an attraction of power there. But as an instructor, it's like he didn't want any of his students to come out second. He wanted all of his students to come out first. Mm -hmm. So he was a good instructor for that. Yeah. And w w you remember any particular thing of stories? Um, I mean, he lived, you know, he's a story man. Yes. Right, he has some great stories he shared with us. Yes. You know, any particular that stuck to your mind? Any of the for any of thing? Well, one story he told about Master Lee was interesting. Um, and uh, I guess Master Lee was <coughs> walking home, and I don't know if you've ever heard that story. <coughs> he and his wife, and there were like four guys hanging out in the, in the park at Topanga, and they hassled Master Lee, who was a very short. Short man, you know, so he looked insignificant, and his wife right. was, you know, very nice lady. He's just short, and so he walked his wife home, and then he went back to the park to visit with these four people who were passing. And Master Lee's wife called Steve and said, "Steve, Master Lee, I think you, there might be trouble. Would you?" So Steve got up and he runs, you know, over to the park. And there's Master Lee sitting on a bench, hitting one hand into the other. <laughs> <laughs> Bemoaning the fact that two of the people ran away. The other two, of course, were out cold. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and, and so Steve said he didn't need to, <laughs> you know, uh, Master Lee's wife didn't have to be concerned. Mm -hmm. Master Lee was also most unusual. Man. But Steve was, of course, with Master Lee, he went because Master Lee's wife asked him to. Now, that's not a story about what Steve did. Yeah. And I've heard a lot of those stories, what he did. You know, the uh, uh, roofer came at him with a roofing axe, <laughs> all that stuff. Went outside to the truck to get it and then ran back into the bar. And, uh, <clears throat> and Steve was able to take it. I, I do remember one story where fellow sitting on a bar stool and there were problems and, and Steve's story was that he roundhouse kicked the fellow in the head and he didn't go down. And Steve was in shock because <laughs> Steve wears boots and he hit him, kicked him with a boot and Steve's roundhouse kicks were really strong and, and the fellow didn't go and it was just like a couple of guys were involved so he had to take one out quickly and the guy all he did was make him dizzy. <laughs> and then he had to, then he took him out. <laughs> right, right. But so I mean, you know, he did he did persevere. But uh, but I, I remember him being surprised in in the story that he that he told uh, those yeah. of us who were there that he was surprised that that the man was still sitting on the bar stool. Wow. And, uh, How long has it been the training? So you just turned eighty. I just turned eighty. Turned eighty, right? Uh, <clears throat> 
very funny thing. I'm, I've been working, and God said, hey, you look great or something. Boy, you look the same as you did 10 years ago. And I really consider that my aging became different because of my involvement in martial arts. And I played full court basketball until I was in my 50s. So I've always done Been that. active, right. Been active. And I'm not as active right now as I should be, and I have to, you know, work on that. But for the 25 years that, uh, in my late 60s, I, I got married, and then with the new, the new life, uh, I started having time constraints. And it just can say, so, so my life changed. My first wife had died, and then, uh, after uh, uh, having enough scotch and watching old karate movies, I felt <laughs> I should rejoin the living. And uh, went and subbed the bowling alley. A friend of mine was a very good bowler. So I went down and subbed the bowling alley. And I guess I was special because here was a guy who would come in and not hitting on all the wives and that sort of thing. Because I just, you know, I was there to bowl and meet people. So I bowled on all the teams. Every week, I, I bowled every week. That, that I wasn't working on that night or something. And uh, because somebody would always be missing. So it's like, well, I can get him because, you know, he's not, you know, <laughs> out there drink, you know, drinking and, and making a flow of something and then, then hitting on the women all of a sudden. I just, you know, I was trying to come back and rejoin life. And I met my wife, uh, my future wife that way. And uh, and you just told me it's been 19 years you just celebrated. Years, she was a widow. And, uh, uh, and we just celebrated 19 years, so it's been the second part. I've, I've lived two lives under two names. Uh, I'm living two parts of my life too, and I've been very fortunate in that. So it's, uh, you know, we're going back. We're going back. Uh, got married at the Grand Canyon. She has lived in Arizona for 18 years. So we're going back to the Grand Canyon next year for our 20th. Wow. <clears throat> and we went for our fifth over there, and we had the permits in that. We got married to the, to the Canyon, the view, everybody. She's got a lot of friends over there. And so, it's, uh, and so we have a uh, summer home there in the high country in Williams, Arizona. And she still has some of her very good friends over there. And of course, I was accepted into the society because being married to her. So it's not like, well, what's Williams like as a stranger? Well, I'm not a stranger in Williams because anybody she introduces me to, I'm her husband, and it's like, well, I come, you know, with, uh, with an entree. So That's it's uh, an entree into the Williams Society or whatever. So. Well, thank you so much, Tom. I'm going to uh, make sure, um, you know, like I said, we're working on this project for Steve's life story. And you know you had a big part in it, you know, and and there's only a few you know people that I can have, count my fingers that have experience with him, and you're definitely one of them. And, I, and when I told him that I'm going to meet with you, he was so excited. I'm sure he'll be. Any any message you like to actually give him? Well, it's uh, <coughs> it's I have great regard for the man <coughs> as a person, as uh, as an instructor. And he was so great for my life. And uh, also my son, Matt, who tested for black belt, the same test I did, which is a thrill, by the way. He was 15. And uh, uh, he studied with the kids' classes, and then he would come down and study with the adults. He started when he was 12. And so when he got to be about 14, then he'd come in and train with us, and then he would train with the kids in the afternoon and then see what had him uh, run class a lot. So I got experience that way and instruction, uh, experience as an instructor. And then uh, uh, very positive, Matt has very, very positive about Steve, but, but the message to Steve is thank you. That's nice. And he was my introduction to the martial arts and it couldn't have been a better introduction. Thank you so much.